everybody it is April and I am back with another tutorial I'm getting ready to add some extra stuff to a t-shirt design that I found in the silhouette design store so I'm going to first start by going into my library which is in the menu bar across the upper right hand side and I've got two options I initially found this one but then I like the one that has the actual tabs on it so I'm going to pull that one into or onto my mat I'm gonna make it bigger so I can work with it uh, probably about that size yeah okay and then nope I'm going to leave it grouped for right now the first thing I'll do is I'll open the offset panel because, you know, got to have my offset behind it. It's just something I, I like to do. I'm going to put my standard 0.8 and I'm going to hit enter so that I can see kind of like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, so I like the square corner with these letters because these are more boxy. So I'm going to stick with the square. Here it's a rounded. And you can see the difference. The corners are rounded and here they're more boxed. And I'm going to click apply. And there you go. Now, with that, I believe my offset in the background hit undo well I can pull this whole image over but I think what's gonna happen is my offset yeah are gonna be all individual letters and that's not what I want so that's why I left the initial design grouped in a minute I'm gonna ungroup it because I'm gonna play with some colors all right so I'm going to choose this whole background because I want it all cut out. Um, let me zoom in here. These are really, really close. Right here. So I'll have to be careful when I'm weeding that. Okay, and I'm going to, so it's all still grouped together, I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a compound path. Now right now I have some pink. Let me look at my colors real quick. Okay, I've got pink, electric, and I'm not sure which color electric it is. It's a kind of a purple, a light pink, electric purple, and a confetti. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this whole background pink. All right. And then I'm going to move him, him or her, off to the side. Then I'm going to bring this back over. And I'm going to ungroup. Because I want to make these different colors. I think what I want to do, so I chose the M and I chose the Y by hitting the shift key and clicking. And instead of grouping them together like this, where if I go too far I'm going to get more than what I want, I choose to select, hold the shift key and click. And then I just keep the shift key down. I want this first tab. I want the H. I want the A. I want the S. I want the T. I want the O. I want the O. Got to make it a hand in order to get it. I want the M. I want the A. I want the N. I want the Y. Got to make it a hand. And you'll see a really light gray box around it. I'm still holding that shift key down. And I want 
want the T and the A and the B and the S and the last tab. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to make that a compound path. So now when I pull this group it's going to all be together. Now I'm going to hit undo because I don't want to lose my placement. And then I'm going to actually it probably doesn't matter. Because I've got this background which is going to tell me where I need to put each letter it doesn't matter if I pull this off to the side because in order to conserve vinyl I will cut all of these out together okay so I'm going to make a compound path of brain I'm going to make a compound path mm, gotta make a hand of open and then he's probably already a compound path yeah I can't do anything with him okay so then I will put this and this and this here and this is going to be my confetti color and I'm just gonna make that a silver it looks way prettier in person and then this whole grouping is going to be that darker purple all right so what's gonna happen is I'm going to cut out the big piece first so this the offset will all be cut out at one time so I don't have to line it up or anything and then this purple will be cut out at one time and then I'll group these guys together so I just want to get an idea of how big it is and it's 10.288 I'm gonna bring it to yeah ten and three quarters and then I'm not going to forget to flip it alright then I'm gonna save it because I don't want to lose all the work that I've done so too many tabs <clears throat> open and okay Okay, so then I will click outside so that I can ungroup them. I'll move the purple off. I'll move the confetti off, which doesn't look like confetti right now, but it will. And then I will strategically place that on my mat. And I don't have to worry about flipping it, so when I hit the send, I'll choose heat transfer smooth and I don't have my cameo on right now but when I hit send I will click as is all right thank you for watching if this video is helpful please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like it and also give me a thumbs up if it was helpful if it wasn't helpful you have a good day and I hope the next one I make will be